16 years old and I uh, found out I was pregnant and we broke up and I just didn't see any other option. Um, I went in and found out and no one talked about adoption, no one talked about anything. I didn't know even to ask questions like what, you know, what stage am I at, is it viable, is it, and then, um, you know, went through the procedure and just immediately after my life spiraled out of control like most women do after they commit the horrendous sin of aborting killing their child um, and then you just kind of just pile on more garbage because you are not worthy and so you hurt yourself because you just did the unthinkable you took your child's life and um and that went on for many many years the destruction the you know, sabotaging of your of yourself with drugs and promiscuity and and then um, you know did you know finally get married and um, each you know I, I praise God have four living and two children in heaven but it just I knew there was something wrong I mean the anger and the just the my anger and, and everything and I and I would go to therapists and I would say I there's something wrong and I would tell them you know what I did and they would ignore the the fact that I had aborted a child and they would you know name it something else well you're you know it's this or it's that and finally finally I don't even know somebody said oh I think you should go see this therapist she said to me and I didn't even know what that was. And I said, you know, so how old were you when you found out about this post-abortion healing? Oh my gosh, let's see. 30, 40? Uh, long time. Yeah, long time. And, you know, I, I go to church. I, would, I mean, I left the Catholic church, but I would go to different churches and nobody ever mentioned anything about post-abortion healing. So anyway, I went through Conquerors. And I couldn't believe it. I met, you know, my soul sisters. I met people that felt and understood how, what I was going through. And then I went through Rachel's Vineyard, and then I went through Project Rachel, and I've gone through support after abortion. Because it's not a one and done thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, you know, healing, and I just want the message to go out there that there is hope after abortion. Like, you don't have to stay that muck. Right. You know, even if you don't believe in God. Because if you contact support after abortion.com, even if you're an atheist, you can go to healing. You know, a lot of people don't want God part of it. Um, and that's fine. If you know, we're all in different walks. And so I, I just want to encourage people to go and get healing. 